Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. I want to talk to you about the book of Job. I want to talk to you about Job's integrity, Job's wealth, Job's riches, and Job's love for God. All right. And to teach you about loving God in all situations. And this is also going to be talking about the poor and the wealthy, the rich and the poor. Okay. I just want to talk to you and the love. All right. I'll, the, you can learn a lot from the book of Job, especially integrity. And the word integrity means the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness, honesty, uprightness. You know, you're not changing. All right. If you read the book of Job, Job was a blessed man. He was blessed with everything. He didn't lack anything. He had provisions. He had cattle. He, he was a rich man. And that's what God took it away from him. So we're going to talk about the testing of money because God tests you with money. God tests you with wealth. God tests you when you're rich and God tests you when you're poor. All right. So there are people when they are rich, they love God. They serve God. They thank him for his blessings. And then he makes them poor and they forsake God. And they turn to idols. Then you got rich. Then you got poor people. They love God. They serve God. And they're with God when they're poor. And then they become rich. And then they forsake God. And they leave him alone. They forsake him. All right. The book of Job teaches you that you need wisdom before money. I talk. I walked and I spoke to you people about that. Desire wisdom before money. All right. Because... Look at Job's situation. He was, this, Job stayed in his integrity and he never stopped loving God. And he never stopped serving God when he was poor and when he was rich. God tests all his creation like that. When you're wealthy, when you're poor. What you're going to do if you're still going to love him? Are you going to be an opportunist with your own God? A lot of people are opportunists with the Most High God. You had to know that. But let's speak about Job and his integrity when he was poor and when he was rich. When Job was rich, he still served and loved the Most High and walked up in his uprightness and in his, te in, and in his integrity. He never left God alone. He never stopped serving God. He never stopped doing the will of God when he was rich. And then God took all away from him and Job stayed in his righteousness and his integrity. And he still loved God and he still served God and he still was with God, even when he was poor. And you see what God did to Job in the end? He blessed him even bigger and better than he was before. When he was in his poor state, his wife even told him, curse God and die. Job didn't do that. Job stated in his integrity and his love for God. Job was tested. His integrity was tested. His wealth was tested. What he would do when he was rich, if he was going to still love God, which God knew he still loved God and he served God when he was rich. So God took everything away from him to see if it was just when he's rich that he loved God and would follow him. Then he made Job poor. Job was the same man. He stayed in his integrity. And if you read Job 1 and 21, the, um, the chapter 1 verse 21, Job says, the Lord giveth." And the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is how you're supposed to be, people. God tests you with when you're rich and when you're poor. He tests you with money. He tests you with wealth. He tests you with riches. And then at the end of Job's trial of God testing him being poor, because he already know that he loved him when he was rich and wealthy. God blessed back Job. More wealthy, more rich, and with a new wife, and new more beautiful children than before. You need wisdom before wealth and riches. Don't seek wealth and riches before you have wisdom. The book of Job will teach you so many things. So many things. Job was even confronted with the spirit of fear. And he overcame that because of his love for God. Perfect love cast away fear. Job knew about the kingdom of darkness, the land of darkness. He says, the, a land of darkness, darkness in itself. 
the Job 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 story teaches you about friends. But <clears throat> Job's friends are probably better than the friends you have these days. Because at least Job's friends, when they seen his calamities befall him, they didn't judge it. They they talked about it. Yes, they did. But they sat there and they fasted for him. And no man opened his mouth. Would your friends sit there and fast for you and pray for you about your condition when all those calamities happen to you when you lose everything or would they forsake you so job had to learn about he was tested in many things he had to know who was with him even the wife wasn't with him she loved him when he was rich she didn't love him when she was poor so that means she didn't love job job loved god that is this the story of job is so beneficial for you to understand how god tests you with wealth when you're rich and when he tests you when you're poor and he tests you with money and riches and wealth if you really have the love for him if you have are you a gold digger with god a lot of people are gold diggers with god i said when they're poor they 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 walk with god they love god then god tests them and he makes them rich they forsake him then you got rich people who love God. They love him for his blessings. He made them rich. They have nothing to worry about. They're good. And then he takes it away from them. They forsake God. You're being tested. Your integrity is being tested. Your love of God is being tested. Do not make a silly mistake to forsake God in any condition that you are in. Hold your integrity. And another person, remember King David God took him from the sheepfold and he made him a king. David loved God in all conditions. He loved him when he was in the sheepfold and he loved him when he was a king. He stood in his integrity. You have to have integrity, people. You shouldn't be swayed for anything. And that's the message today. Stay, I hope this enlightened you. I hope you read the story and the book of Job and get clarity and understanding and um God dropped this in my spirit to talk to you, and I wanted to talk to you about it as well too. That you be that you're tested. Your integrity is tested when you're rich and when you're poor. So make the right decisions, both in all conditions. Don't forsake God, cause God won't forsake you, and He tests your love for Him. Stay blessed. I hope this enlightened you. I hope this gave you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And I hope you read the Book of Job. Stay blessed, beautiful people, and walk in your integrity, and do not walk in crooked ways.